Welcome to the second episode of the Gomit Spec video tutorials for version 7.5 SR1. This video will cover inspection sections, traceable inspection, alignments, tolerances, eye inspect, and drawing based inspection. A full fee comparison can be also performed section based. This function is called inspection section. We can choose a reference plane and cut the section at any position parallel to it. Again, we can place deviation labels wherever we want. A nice option is a clipping plane along the section in order to look into the component. Just select clipping plane and choose the side you would like to clip. At the same time, the picture in picture appears, which gives you an overview. The previously created pre alignment included an additional best fit alignment. However, this best fit alignment was computed over all data. Additional alignments can be created for a local inspection of a situation. What we can observe from the pre alignment are deviations on the M here and here. The M is a removable component on the training object and we could suspect that the M was not mounted correctly but was wedged. Thus we select now the M only on the mesh data. We can then choose Local Best Fit on the Create Alignment button. As soon as we press OK, all current results for our project are being recalculated automatically. The surface comparison now shows us deviations on the M have nearly disappeared, which means the M was manufactured correctly but was wedged indeed. iInspect is a concept that handles all different inspection options based on the selected element. So it guides you through the inspection process by offering always the correct software functions. For instance, we construct a nominal element on the CAD data such as a surface point. iInspect offers us now the choice on how to determine the actual point via measurement principle. Having the actual counterpart, we can inspect the point, perhaps in z-direction. Or you want to inspect the cylinder regarding diameter and cylindricity according to GD&T. So we construct the cylinder on CAD, apply the measuring principle fitting element, and choose the inspection diameter and cylindricity. In this chapter we will apply tolerances to the cat. First we will apply tolerances globally to the cat. In most cases Components do have a local tolerance on patches. In those cases, we can apply individual tolerances for each CAD patch. You can select now the individual patches by selecting them with Ctrl and the left mouse button. Multiple selections are possible. Now we can choose a tolerance display for the surface comparison. If you have the assignment to inspect drawing based, you have to enter the nominal information manually. Let us say we would like to inspect the length of the GOM training object. Of course, there might be various different approaches, but we take an outer disc caliper. 
any element needs to be constructed first before we can inspect it. Once we have done that, we can have a look what iInspect offers us. In this case, it does make sense to inspect the length in X only. Please visit and register at support.gom.com. For further tutorials, to access an extensive knowledge base with hints and tips, to interact with other GOM Inspect users in the GOM forum, and to download sample data and software updates. Download your free copy of GOM Inspect at GOM.com. We can also obtain more information about upgrading to GOM Inspect Professional, the parametric inspection solution with innovative teaching by doing technology. And to learn more about GOM's optical measuring systems for 3D coordinate measurement and deformation analysis.